Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Grammar TV, presented to you by Miles and me, Josh Miller. Despite the fact that many of us are focusing on exams and next year seems a long way off, Abby, Sophie and Lily interviewed some students around the school to see what character traits next year's prefect should possess. As voting has recently closed for the school leaders of 2018, we asked students what they expect of them next year. I think that they should be really approachable because, you know, what's the point if you can't go off and talk to them? Um, I think they should be more involved in the Grade 7s because we haven't really had in any interaction. Good role models to the school. Good leader, sporty, smart, yeah. funny. Should know what they're doing. Um, you'd want them to be, yeah, approachable and friendly and sort of you can share your ideas with them being able to talk to them easily and they have good ideas and they bring good ideas into the school. I reckon they should be able to speak to the whole school. I suppose you'd want very approachable people that you can get along well with. Um, I suppose people that you can trust, people that are team players yeah. and um, I suppose respect the school. Um, I expect them to be approachable and easy to communicate with and get along with kids of all ages throughout the school. Expect them to be like, represent the school in a respectful way and like not act like they're superior to us. I hope they do a good job next year. With so many of us used to teachers and parents bad jokes, we thought we'd record some. Here is the first instalment. They're funny, they're cringy, they're grandma's deadliest jokes. We've got, got some jokes, jokes that make you laugh. Hey, deadliest jokes. Mr. Common, what's your dad joke for deadliest jokes? Well, how much do flat batteries cost? How much? Nothing. They're free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Astrid, what's your dad joke? What do you call a chicken looking at a lettuce? What? Chicken Caesar salad. <laughs> What do you call a man with no nose and no body? Yeah. Nobody knows! <laughs> I now officially heard him inside. And wanted to know how we film these episodes. Well, Brad, Will and I have chosen to show you how it is done. Hello again, this is Will, and together with Miles and Brad, we hope to give you some insight into what goes on in an episode of Grammar TV. When we start filming an episode, we have a group discussion about what the episode will be about. Once you have your story idea, you then go and write a script for it. When the script is done, we then collect the footage and the audio for the episode. After you've gotten all your footage together, it is time to start the editing process. When editing, it is important to have your clips be relevant to the audio. Once editing is done, you then export the clip, ready for the studio. Once we get to the studio, we are all given roles to do on the day. These roles are all the same as what they would be in a real new studio. Recording usually takes one and a half hours, but it is all worth it in the end. The filming process is all done live to air, meaning that the take is the length of the episode. After the studio work is done, it is then exported and uploaded to YouTube for your enjoyment. That is how we record Grammar TV. It's quite hectic making these shows, but definitely worth it. So if that interests you, a reminder that broadcasting is available to all grade 9 and 10 students. This has been Grammar TV and the last episode for 2017. Thanks for watching, have a great summer and we look forward to bringing you more episodes in the future.